I'm Dr. Kayla. I'm a content creator, TV host, as well as a full-time dentist. Yes, a dentist. Whenever I tell people that, the response I always get is, but why? <laughs> See, I know my profession has a lot of blood and saliva involved and most people are put off by it. But I had a reason. The moment I graduated from dental school, the secret society of dentistry automatically gave me a superpower. In fact, all dentists, not just me, all of us have this amazing power to make you instantly feel self-conscious and uncomfortable about your teeth when you see us. Example, you brush your teeth extra hard the morning before your dental appointment. When you're talking to a dentist, you're thinking, mm, what meal did I have just now? I hope there's nothing stuck in between my teeth. <laughs> yes, we know, dentists are scary. Last Friday, I had a patient coming into my clinic and the first thing she told me was, oh, I love seeing the dentist and she gave me a big fat hug. Yep, I'm just joking, that never happened. <laughs> in fact, the first thing I always hear from my patients is the exact opposite, like, I'm so scared of you, or I'd rather give birth than have a dental feeling done. Really? You'd rather have a human coming out of your body than getting your teeth checked? <laughs> But isn't that the amazing thing about dentistry? It is something that a lot of people fear, yet something so important that everyone has to get it done at least once in their lifetime. So let's get back to the question. Why dentistry? Why choose a profession where it's filled with blood, saliva, and patients who are afraid of us? Answer transformation. I have a lot of patients who have not or simply cannot smile for most of their life until they got their dental treatment done. It might be due to missing front teeth, developmental problems of their teeth affecting the appearance, causing them to lose their self-confidence and some even suffer anxiety and depression from this. It is surprising how the act of smiling itself can actually impact one's mental health. After my patients got their smiles fixed, they actually told me that they feel more confident and positive in life because they no longer have a burden that they have to carry and they can actually smile and laugh their heart out. It is really amazing how a smile can transform your life. And this transformation does not only apply to dentistry. See, I know most of you guys are not dentists. Well, you might be students. You might be future engineers, architectures, accountants, chefs, artists, but what we are really doing in the future is transformation. We are the young ones. <laughs> well, I hope I'm young enough to say so, but we are the generation who will transform the world into a better one in the future. And we can do that in two ways through our own profession and the environment. Let me explain this from the perspective of a dentist. As dentists, we are the people who can build really close relationships with our patient because if you can be comfortable with the person you're the most afraid of, the relationship is going to last. It is not easy for someone to open up, quite literally, <laughs> themselves and let another person take a close examination and even perform treatments in their mouth. And because of this, we really have the power to transform someone's life through their smile. When we are talking about smile, it's not just something nice for people to look at. I mean, yes, I know it can be something aesthetic. It is functional, but it is closely related to our general health as well. I had a patient coming in for a dental clearance before his heart surgery. Dental clearance means that the dentist has to clean out the oral cavity, fill up whatever tooth decay that's there, as well as removing any tooth with poor prognosis and are likely to cause infections before the patient undergo any major operations or surgeries. When I told him that we are planning to extract most of his teeth, he smiled sadly and said, not that like I had a choice, right? Truth is, he had a choice. He just didn't make the right one. It is really sad to see a man in his 40s having to extract more than half of the teeth he has left because he neglected his oral health for his entire life. You know, this could have been avoided if he simply brushed his teeth better or get a checkup once in a while. If you're thinking, well, I only have to face that if I had heart problems, right? Think again. 
It has been proven that gum diseases can lead to cardiovascular diseases, for example, heart attack, increased blood pressure, and more. I know what you're thinking. I'm still young. Why should I care about you know, gum diseases and heart attack at my age? Okay, <laughs> you're probably watching this from home and it's currently sitting down. Imagine the chair you're sitting in right now has a broken leg. Now, I'll play some nails in front of you and ask you to patch up the broken chair or choose to sit in it until it eventually breaks. Most people will choose the easy way out, which is to sit on the chair thinking, nah, I'll fix it someday, until it actually broke one day. And when the chair collapsed, it is too late. Same goes to your oral health. You could have done a scaling or a dental cleaning every six months just to make sure that your oral health is in its best condition. But instead, most people refuse dental visits until their teeth are causing them pain and they had to get more complex and more uncomfortable treatments done. They rather spend their money on good food, luxury clothes and shoes while they refuse to get their routine dental cleaning done. And let me tell you one thing, we use our mouth a lot. In fact, we use it every day to speak, to smile, to eat and to survive. Isn't it a wise choice to take better care of your best asset? A woman in her 30s walked into my clinic a few days ago. She told me she has this horrible teeth hypersensitivity in her entire mouth whenever she drank cold water. And she simply lived with it until someday she accidentally inhaled sharply like this <laughs> and had a similar pain on all her teeth. And that was the oh no moment when she decided to visit the dentist. Upon examination, we found out that all her teeth has been eroded, most likely by acidic substances. Dental erosions means that your teeth are being thinned down by acidic substances. Turns out, she's a huge lover of acidic drinks like lemon juice, coke, and vinegar. The outermost protective layer of her teeth, called enamel, has been eroded by all these drinks over the past few years, exposing the layer underneath which is left unprotected, hence the dental hypersensitivity. The solution? Dental fillings on all teeth and diet modification. Did you know that this could have been avoided if she simply came to us earlier? And do you know what would we recommend her to do apart from diet modification? Rinsing with plain water. <laughs> yes, simply rinsing with water after drinking the acidic substances can wash them away, thus reducing chances of dental erosions. But she did not know until damage has already been done. And this is why it is so important to get routine dental care to prevent a disease before it ever has chance to occur. And now remember what I was saying, transforming the world through our own profession. This is when I come into place. You know, this is when I provide treatments for the patient and help better their oral and general health. But if you ask me, what's the most important aspect of my profession? Is it my ability to treat diseases? My answer is no. Our job is not just to treat disease, but to prevent it from happening at all. And to do that, we have to raise awareness. This brings us to the second part of the transformation, the environment. I understand, not everyone has access to dental care or the courage to step up to a dentist. How are they going to get awareness when they don't even want to see a dentist in the first place, you might wonder. This is when the environment comes into place. I'm a dentist practicing in Malaysia and let me tell you one thing. Most Malaysians only visit the dentist when they are in pain, can claim their dental benefits from their employer or bored. <laughs> Why so? because they don't find the need to. Like what I mentioned, nine out of 10 adults in Malaysia has gum diseases. And this tells us the society and the environment we are in simply do not care about our health. And why don't they understand the importance of it? Is it the public fault or is it your fault for not caring enough? I don't think so. Because I think this responsibility belongs to us, the dentist. 
we should provide enough awareness to the public to make them realize how greatly their oral health can impact their general health. We should be educating and transforming the mindset and attitude of the society towards their own health. And this is one of the reasons why I started making dental health related contents on social media. To help people who are too afraid to go to the dentist to learn some basics of dental self-care, as well as showing them, you know, hey, dentists are humans too. We just want to help you. Please stop hating us. <laughs> okay, so in my clinic, the 10 minutes I spend teaching someone how to brush their teeth can only benefit one to two patients. But on social media, I can use the same amount of time and spread the information to more people. I have close 90,000 followers across YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And imagine how many people can benefit from learning through a content I put on social media. Definitely way more. And here's something interesting. This does not only apply to dentists, but all professions as well. Most people blame others when they couldn't get a job, couldn't get the raise that they wanted, they blame their boss, they blame their working environment, they blame the lack of opportunities. But most of the time, we are in control of our own environment. We are in control of the transformation we want to bring into our own life and the society. When you couldn't get that raise that you want, what can you do? You can actually raise your self-worth. And when you can provide more values and improvements to your environment, when you are irreplaceable, your raise will come. When I see my patients coming in with a tooth decay, I don't only treat the decay. I teach them how to brush, how to floss, how to rinse, and I know it might sound silly, but I even ask them to demonstrate back to me the tooth brushing technique I taught them just to make sure they fully understand it. And this is the value I provide to my patients and to the environment. I don't just settle the problem and say, bye, I actually care about them. I want to make sure my patients know how to brush when they go back and they can teach their friends and family how to brush and the importance of it, therefore eventually creating an environment with a better oral health awareness. When the society has a better level of oral health awareness, they'll go to the dentist more regularly because they care about their oral health. They'll know that if they're unhappy with the appearance of their smile, they can get something done about it instead of leaving it with the rest of their life, thus bringing them more confidence and a better mental health. They'll know that someday, if their health gives way, if they have a heart attack or got into a car accident that requires major surgery, they don't have to sacrifice all their teeth just to get a surgery done. They'll see dentists as friends who are able to help solve their dental problems instead of people they are forced to face when they are in pain. When you instill in people's mind on how a smile can transform their life, you actually inspire them to be in charge of their health, be it oral health, general health, or mental health. You bring your own profession up to the next level where you don't only treat diseases, but you help prevent it entirely, which is the ultimate goal of healthcare professionals. You don't only transform your patients, your professions, and the society's life. You transform your own as well, as you grew from all these values you are bringing to others. These are just my visions, a small perspective of a dentist. Imagine if everyone has the same mentality in their own field of profession. If everyone wants to transform the conventional perception of their own profession and to transform the environment that they are in into a better one. Wouldn't that be awesome? So ask yourself today, how can I bring transformation? What legend do I want to build? And don't forget the most important question. When was the last time I did the dental scaling? It's about time. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm Dr. Kila, the dentist you can ask anything. I hope you enjoyed this little sharing session of mine and I'll see you next time. Bye.